Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how I mix my drums for trap beats. Hope everyone is having a good holiday. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get straight into the video. So today I'm going to be breaking down a collab beat I made with Koba. Um, basically I'm going to go over all the drum sounds. See the hats, the snares, claps, 808, and kick. Here's um, how the beat sounds here. <laughs> First here I'm going to be breaking down the hi-hat and as you see it's pretty simple um, basically just a two-step pattern I leave some space to add a little bit of bounce but on the mixing part all the hi-hats here are basically sitting at the same velocity um, the hi-hats that are below I kind of pitch them down because if I have them at the same volume as the ones like the two-step hi-hats, then the volume gets a little too high for my liking. So I have nothing is on the hi-hat. I just turned it down a little bit and turn it to the right because the hit one naturally it's like way over like this. I just kind of like it the way it sounds better like that. On the actual hi-hat, the only thing I did is turn up the out knob a little bit so it makes the hat tighter, shifted it to make it a little bit off grid, and then instead of C, I turn it down to C sharp so I right click there to pitch it down one. So technically, instead of C, like right there, it's playing down a pitch but that's just the easier way I like to do it. So next thing I break down is the open hat, and I kind of did the open hat with the snare. Um, as you can hear with the bounce, it like bounces off the snare, and this is what I mean. So I have the open hat hitting where the snare is hitting in a lot of the places. Just uh, focusing on the open hat though, I don't really do anything. I just make sure the open hat's hitting a little bit below negative 15 dB. Um, there's no really set volume it has to be at. It's just whatever sounds good, but I have like a general range of where I like them to hit at. And then the snare here. I usually make sure my claps and snares hit somewhere between negative three and negative six on this one. It's like right around negative four, just because that's what I thought sounded the best. Um, on the snare, nothing on the snare either. It's not turned to motto, it's not turned anything. I just like the way it sounded, how it was. So moving on, I just added a second snare. On the second snare, I usually turn it down from how loud a regular snare is i have it hit around like negative seven to nine this one's around seven if it's a clap instead of a snare then i'll do like nine it just depends depends on the sounds being used um before i break down the 808 all i did after the hook when the verse starts i just added a clap like you see, that's right at three. Nothing on the mixer either. Really, the drums, I'm not putting anything on the drums. Only thing I did, I, this is the 808. I just took some of the highs out of the 808. And probably on the kick two, I just turn it down right there to cut off any high frequencies. But yeah, as you can tell, there's nothing on the mixer channels for the drums that I have. All right, so breaking down the 808. How I mix my 808s, I'll just single this one out. First thing I do is control A and then turn the velocity all the way up. I do this by holding alt and using the scroll wheel, just turning it up like that. Um, something else I like to do is I turn the out knob on it just because I like the sound, but on a lot of my 808s, I use this boost regular. It hits like this. 
turn the boost up it's like hits a lot harder make sure cut itself is on and then i e turn everything off except for the hold here so i have full control of the 808 and that helps specifically for things like the rolls um whenever i do rolls and i have the hold on i always have the hold on i'll hold alt and then cut a little bit of the ends off and then that makes sure on the rolls the volume doesn't jump so you see the volume is going to hit the volume is going to hit at the same level but yeah as far as 808s go that's it. The only thing I do is, like I said, cut some of the highs and just turn it up. I have it way past, not way past zero, but I do have it past zero. And I can do that by putting on the soft clipper on the master. And then I have an EQ just boosting some of the lows as well. But you see on the master channel with the soft clipper, it's not going past zero. But on the actual mixer, it is. But that soft clipper helps it last thing is the kick and i'll play it with the 808 so i always have my kick hitting higher than the 808 is this one's like at two and it's still not going above zero because that's soft clipper all right now and final thing i will play the finished beat with the drum mix um, make sure to let me know if you want me to break down like the melody mixes or anything, but I'll play this and you can just hear everything hitting at the same time. No, Mel on a beat, dropping heat. show a little bit of guidance into what I do in mixing my drums, mixing my beats. Make sure if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. As far as this one, that's it. I'm out. I'll see y'all in the next one.